Hello, this is Dan DeLuca from Eugene, Oregon. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about content syndication, meaning uh, sharing your content and when you should share it. So keep on watching. All right. So content syndication, what I mean by that is once you've created a blog post or a, a, a video, uh, say on YouTube, um, if you just leave it there, um, unless you've got a really popular blog or a really popular YouTube channel or whatever video channel you're on, um, it's probably not going to get found by very many people unless you do a little bit of syndication or promotion on that. So. Here's the thing uh, about that is to, uh, to really make it be effective is to actually have a checklist of exactly what you're going to do to syndicate and just do that every single time you create a new piece of content. And then also have a schedule of when you're going to syndicate and re-syndicate because that can help too. So for syndication, here's some sources and this is really, this is actually my checklist um, and so uh, here, this works for me. So when I, I generally make a video, and of course that's going to be posted on YouTube, and um, it might be posted on some other video channels, but YouTube is the second largest search engine on the planet. So I figured that's a good place to put it. And YouTube videos also show up in regular Google searches. So you kind of get two hits for one there. So I, I've got a video on YouTube, I'm going to post it on my blog and I'm going to write a blog or article about it. And the blog is what I'm going to syndicate. Now I might also syndicate the YouTube, but what I'm mainly talking about is syndicating your blog posts. So it doesn't have to be a video. In this case it is. I'm, I'm talking about video. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to post the uh, link to my blog on my Facebook fan page and then I'm going to share that fan page post with at least five groups that I'm a member of where that post would be relevant and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna post it to stumble upon I have a stumble upon account if you don't definitely get a stumble upon account follow me I'm at world tree on stumble upon and um, you'll get a lot of traffic from stumble upon I'm finding then I'm going to tweet out my link. I'm going to uh, a link to the blog post. I'm going to tweet, add that tweet to my uh, tweet Twitter automation program. Right now I'm using Tweet Jukebox, but you might be using Hootsuite or you might be using I don't know. There's a bunch of different Twitter automation tools out there. So I'm going to put a tweet, and I'm actually going to put a few variations of that tweet in Tweet Jukebox. I'm going to send an email to my email list and every t so every time I create a blog post I'm going to send an email to my email list. I'm going to post it to my Google Plus profile and I'm, then I'm going to share that posting to at least three other Google Plus groups that I'm a member of. That's my uh, checklist for promoting my blog posts and I'm going to do that with every single blog post. Now there's a couple of optional things that I might do. I, if it's a video I can um, transcribe that video and um, I can first of all use that as my blog post or maybe some variation on that as my blog post. Then um, I'm also going to be able to grab the audio off of the video and I can post that as a podcast on iTunes. I can post it on my channel on SoundCloud. And there's other places as well where you can post audio. So that's another way to repurpose that video content like this right here. And it will be posted on some other audio only places uh, where people can pick it up. So those are some optional things I can do. And then there's other services, blog sharing and things like that that are paid that I'm not using right now. And look for further articles in my blog about other tools as I bring them into my toolbox. 
So that's content syndication. Now, the other question is when to do this and how often to do this. So I actually have a checklist. I'm going to see. I don't know if you can see. And I got this from a website. I think it's called co-sharing. I don't have it on here. Uh, it's in my Pinterest. And uh, I might even put, the, uh, I'll probably put a link to this in the blog post that you're watching. So look for this link. Um, social sharing schedule timeline. Social sharing schedule timeline. So I'm going to follow this. I haven't uh, really started on this, but it's a great way and uh, and to um, to keep your um, your blog posts activated. So um, according to these guys, Twitter they do uh, a po they'll tweet on the when they publish it and then uh, on the same day as they post it. So that would be two tweets in one day for that article. The day after the post, a week after the post, one month after the post. And then they have custom date in here. And again, I have uh, blog posts running in my uh, automated Twitter feed. So they're going to just get pumped out uh, randomly. I just, every time I make a blog post, I take the link to that blog post and, I, and, and a little verbiage and I put it as a tweet in my Twitter automation tool. And that's just going to go out forever along with all my other blog posts. So their Facebook schedule is uh, on the date of publishing and then one month after posting they will repost it on their Facebook. On Google Plus they will post it on the day that they publish and then uh, a one week after they've posted it and then one month after they've posted it. And then they post on LinkedIn if you're going to do that uh, the same day as the post. So that's a schedule and uh, I'll post uh, this image with this little schedule that should be on this page that you're watching it on if it's on my blog post if you're watching this somewhere else then visit my blog at dandeluca.com the link will be in the comments to find this particular post and you can see the schedule uh, image that I've got up there so I hope this helps thanks for watching again visit my blog at dandeluca.com for more great posts on blogging mindset and marketing. I look forward to seeing you there.